you fucking Christmas podcast. I'm Jay. With me is best friend Eric. He's a best friend. He's like, hey man, how you doing today? I'm like, I don't know, best friend. I'm just chilling. And he's like, that's cool. I was going to call you later, but then I got tired. And I'm like, don't worry about it, best friend. Is, how do I leave this already? Huh? I said, how do I get out of this fucking thing? Because I'm already... <laughs> Listen, you love it. Talk about Christmas tidings. Well, first off, before we get into the main thing, which I have sent you a document, correct? Right. I'm. Uh, you have, no. you have not read this yet, right? No. The only thing I saw was your. it said, don't read. And right. then this was maybe half a sentence, you know, like in the subject. But other than that, I... I know it's some type of... Don't look at it yet. We're going to get to it very, very soon. But first up, I want to say, how has your Christmas season been so far? Oh, it fucking sucks. Have you gotten all your gifts? Um, We've got the kid. We've got the, we've got the kid taken care of. We're doing the... I'm uh, doing the wife's shopping next week when I actually fucking get paid and have money. So... All right. The kid. I got to ask about Santa. Does she still believe in Santa? Or she's like, this bullshit. She know. Um, I think she still believes, like, she doesn't, she hasn't asked about that stupid fucking, uh, elf on a shelf this year, because we were too fucking lazy to do it, and we're like, well, let's just see if she asked, but she just now asked about it, like, yesterday, and, you know, Christmas is, what, less than a week away, so I think what she's kind of- the purpose of the elf on the shelf? What the fuck is that all about? It's, uh, it's a way for parents to try to scare their kids into being good, or else they won't get any presents. Is that what that is? Little elf works for Santa. Yeah. And he will report back anytime you're being bad, type of thing. Okay, I've seen that everywhere. I had no fucking idea. Do you like make the elf look? Can you make? Can you get different types of elves? Or is it like a demonic looking elf? Or it's it's the same looking one, but um, you, you're supposed to put them in different places of the house, like each day, one day. Like I've done it creepily. Like one time I've done it on her dresser, staring at her, and then another time I've done it like in her bathroom, <laughs> and then just. <laughs> phase beast just said why don't i interview the world's best seller well we're gonna get we're gonna trust me we're gonna cover his big fat ass later on but uh oh uh, you guys see the comments here okay well that's a hell of a lot easier can you see the comments or is it just me i can see it right here all right so the first thing i want to tell you was my fucking day to day was just awesome. Well, first off, I sent you like I think a screenshot. Christmas is the season to be fucking greedy as fuck. I came to Chicago. I got a motel, not because I care about anybody, but because I know this area way too fucking well, and I know certain areas that have lots of this shit, and I know I can go door dashing like a motherfucker. And the worse the weather. The more holidays, the better it's going to be. We have a blizzard coming. People are bitching about it. I'm like, I can't fucking wait for the blizzard. Because I know these fucking yuppie fucks are never going to leave their house. And my ass is going to be hauling Chinese food and stupid shit up to them. By the way, I'm getting sick of DoorDash adding new things aside from food. Because people keep arguing with me about what they've ordered. Five times now, I go to Bed Bath & motherfucking Beyond. I know. Who orders from Bed Bath & Beyond? On DoorDash. DoorDash is fucking food only. Huh? DoorDash is just food only, isn't it? No. Now they've added Sally's Beauty Supply, uh, Bed Bath and Beyond, Dick's Sporting Good. Now listen, they try <laughs> to give you a yeah, Dick's Sporting Good. They want me to take so many dicks, it's not even funny. <laughs> I got an order. Literally, it's like a sometimes you'll get like piggyback orders. Well, most of the time you will. Like, okay, pick it up this up from subway and then pick this up from dicks i got like five dicks today <laughs> well it is motivation. no bullshit i was like listen i might be able to take one dick but i can't take five dicks that's a lot of dicks and these well, dicks are, they're spread out if they're paying you good money you'll be the one spread out and you'll take all five dicks i can't take all five dicks some of these dicks are in the ghetto some of these dicks are in yuppie land some i mean it was like 45 dollars, and this is not even bullshit for one order with five dicks. <laughs> you've, taken less, you've taken more dicks for less money. I think you can handle five for 45. <laughs> I should tell Stevie that one. Tell him about, dicks where? What's going on? Ooh, I'll go. I'll do, I'll do it for free. I'll ride in the hood of the car. I really don't give a shit. Mm-hmm. But no. So 
I was doing a bunch of these orders, and I think it was Saturday or Sunday. I was flying. I was doing a shit ton. And I went to the yuppie areas that I know here. Like, you know, drive far away, stay there, park, and just drive to the yuppies. These drunk fuck, they are really feeling the spirit this year. The I showed you. I got a $25 fucking tip. For one, I, they were like two miles. It was like Panda Express. Now they ordered a shitload of Chinese food. So I'm like, it was so much. I'm like, either it's going to be some morbidly obese bitch who's not going to teach me anything. Or there's some kind of party going on. Apparently, I lucked into it. There were lots of parties going on. These yuppies, you go to their door, and I've never seen this in my life. It's like, to all the little elves out there and FedEx drivers, help yourself. They had, like, really fancy wine, like, in a bucket with ice. And then they come to their door. But here's the bad thing about not knowing your tip ahead of time or even if you got one. I was in such a pissy mood. (laughs) No. Well, literally, okay, first off, I go to Panda Express and they argue with me whether we have an order or not. I'm like, I've got it. It's on my fucking screen. Well, we don't have it yet. Well, you got to go find it because I got to go deliver. So <laughs> I finally get them to acknowledge that we have an order. Yeah. They give me like 80 bags. It's huge order. Okay, fine. Make, they're like, you're going to make a, a couple trips to your car. I'm like, okay, no, I was going to carry it all at once. You fucking idiot. Shut up. And so I take one of these boxes and automatically it starts to break. They all just like the, the, they put like 80 things in one plastic bag. The bag starts to like cave. So the bag's already kind of shitty. The box is barely going to make it. Oh, all uh, fancy restaurants are though. They cram everything as much uh, as they can. <laughs> but I got we delivered to yeah, these yuppie people. So I'm waddling up to their fucking driveway with a fucking plastic bag with part of this shit hanging out. The, the fucking box is basically open with their like, Egg rolls or whatever the fuck it is, but it's a huge box. So I'm just, and the guy's like all smiling and like, and I'm just like, <laughs> so I remember even when I said, I'm like, I've got one more box in the car. <laughs> you said just like that? Oh, kind of. I was well, like, I got one more box in the car. I'll be right. Oh, shit, hold on. And I come back. I'm like, he's like, Merry Christmas. I'm like, uh huh. So, <laughs> And then I get in the car, and then I com- says complete order. And then, of course, I feel like the dick because I see the twenty five dollar tip yeah. from these nice people. But now there's no way once you finish the order, there's no way to reach them anymore. You can't say, "Oh, thank you" or whatever. It's gone. It's done. So, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and then today, uh-huh. this made my. I want to get in. Just this one little thing before I have you start reading. What we're, I'll set it up, but um, no, take your this time. Made, this made my Christmas. I'm going to tell you right now. There's this black lady who runs this motel. She's black. What do you want from me? I didn't paint her or anything. Like that shit. How you got to fucking start the story? Well, there's this black lady. You know. There's this black lady. Trust me, because she gets really black in this. So. Oh. You should have kept it a secret, and we would have been thinking a white chick was like this or something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, but I'm gonna compliment her. I've been in this hotel two times before. Every time she is the only employee here, she dresses up like really nice and like like a nice little like business type get up and all that. She looks really, really nice. She always puts two little like scented candles up when she's working. Just the sweetest, most nicest, always please, thank you, everything. All right. So I had a problem with who I booked through a third party app. And she was explaining something to me. So I'm like, let me call these people and deal with them. She's like, okay, do whatever you need to do, sweetie, honey. Love you. Okay, fine. (laughs) Adorable. But this woman's just, she's been so helpful, so kind. All of a sudden, Junkie McJunker fuck comes in, waddles in there. And I I love, first of all, if you're going to like bitch and try to be all white and entitled about something, don't look like a heroin addict. Like, don't have a hoodie on. Don't have, you know, FUBU and you're white. I don't know. (laughs) Kind of fucking jogging pants. He comes marching in, slams a credit card down, and he does this shit. He's like, okay, here's your credit card. Don't fucking have fun with it or whatever, but I'm going to go on Yelp. That's how you can tell he's so fucking white. I'm going to go on Yelp. I remember what's your worst review ever because this place is horrible. It's dirty. It's run down. And, you know, this fucking bullshit. I fucking hope you're happy. And the next thing I know, now I'm on the phone with, you know, the Indian in Pakistan somewhere who's pretending to listen to me. Not really. But so I'm I'm over there like hello and I and then all of a sudden <laughs> I can't hear her anymore because the nice lady I know has uh-oh. turned into 
a fucking like Nicki Minaj. Oh no, you motherfucking did it! Oh no, you did. You picked the wrong motherfucking one. You gonna curse me out? You gonna guess what? You not staying an extra week. Stick your credit card up your ass. How about that? You go on today. You leave it. You check it out today. And then I've never seen a guy cave so fast in my life. Or I mean, I didn't mean anything by. No, you gonna cuss me out? You gonna cuss me out? You leave. Bye. Bah. You leave in the day. Bah. And then he starts. She's like, you got the wrong motherfucking one. And I'm like, oh, I just love this. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Indian lady is like, excuse me, sir. I cannot hear you. I'm like, because that's an angry black woman yelling right now. Now, shut up. You're ruining the fun. <laughs> and she was ready to fuck him up. And this guy was not a little dude. You know, okay. but I've never seen a guy turn into like a four year old boy so fast. Like, well, I mean, I no, I'm just aggravated. You tell me, and plus, this hotel is clean, okay? I, I rest my head here sometimes because I don't want to go all the way home and come back. So don't tell me where I sleep is dirty. You, you got the wrong motherfucking one. I'm calling up the manager, right? The owner of the hotel right now. And he's like, well, just take my credit card. Fuck you and your credit card. How's that? Merry Christmas, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Now she forgot. She had forgot because I was kind of by this ice machine, like that I'm still there. Mm -hmm. So this guy is like humiliated, whatever. She's like, "You leaving? I don't give a fuck what you say." Oh, okay, I'm sorry. She got. Are you be sorry? How the fuck you want? She goes, "You come up in my face." She goes, "You're leaving today." Bye, bye, bye. So finally, he leaves. You and and she thinks she's alone. So she she doesn't know I'm still there because I'm just like frozen. And she's like, motherfucker gonna come in here and try to tell me you suck my shit. He got the wrong motherfucker today. I, I wish he would. I wish he'd come back. Then I hear her phone call with the manager. And she's like, Yeah, he cussing me the fuck out. No, he's not staying. I just you go back me up, right? You go back me up, right? He's not staying. Don't cuss me out. What the fuck do I look like to you? So finally, I kind of peek my head around. She goes, Everything going okay on your phone call? <laughs> And I was like, baby, you don't even have to worry about it. I said, that guy's a fucking asshole. And then finally, she knows she can relax in front of me. She goes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then she goes, he's trying to say this hotel. Do, let me ask you. Do you think this hotel? I said, no, look, I'll show you. It's not dirty or run down. There's new shit everywhere here. And I'm like, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. And I said, he needs to go further down the host stroll over here where you really find the shitty hotel. She goes, okay. Mm -hmm. Right? All right. She's like, he's a dumb motherfucker. She goes, he's not staying here no more. She, <laughs> she goes, and he goes, and then she started telling me all his business. And he's gonna put another credit card. Hey, I'm gonna go on Yelp. I'm gonna go on Yelp. Motherfucker, go on Yelp. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. You go on Yelp. You know who goes on Yelp? Angry white people who didn't get their motherfucking way. Sorry, I'm not trying to offend you. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, but that's all that I've never been on Yelp once in my motherfucking life. She goes, no black person goes like Yelp. <laughs> No one, no, no one gives a shit about Yelp. No, we all know it's one of two things. I was talking to her about it. It's either an employee who works in the place, like this is the most wonderful, fantastical place I've ever been. Everybody should go there. Or it's someone who had a bad experience that's like, fuck this place. I really fucking hate this place. Die, die, die. Mm -hmm. What's Yelp? Oh, Jesus Christ. You're from Britain. So I gotta explain. Yelp is like kind of like a Google reviews for a restaurant, for any place, a motel, a movie theater, anything. It's basically where people go to bitch. Like, they were treated badly, so they want to put it out there. Did you love that? Isn't that just the best, like, fucking Christmas thing ever? They had their own little Christmas miracle. You know, you, you, <laughs> got, you got paid, you got to see a black lady scare a white dude, probably make a piece of hand. I am not fucking kidding you. I swear, uh, my mother, rest, God rest her soul and everything like that. Do you know what I did? Mm. I went out, because she was having such a bad day with this guy. I got her a Christmas card. I put some lotto tickets to that motherfucker. Good for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give it to her tomorrow when I see her because she was already off duty by the time I got back. But I'm just glad that I said, look, baby, I hope you win. You deal with way too much bullshit here. I see the junkies that come back in and it's either junkies or lots of fucking whores. Lots of whores. Like oh, but oh. not not like crackhead whores, but like pretending they're not whores. I think there's a lot of affairs. Lots mm -hmm. of lots of I told you at one time I made a video about it. I was interrupting the gay sex every five fucking seconds. <laughs> 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 Fuck me in my asshole and shit on my face. You want me to shit on your face? Yeah, you shit on my face. <gasps> oh, oh, I like to eat the puke. They, it was funny to hear them stop rocking every time I was doing that type of shit. Mm -hmm. 
But now, since I can't really wait much further, I got it. All right. I have to tell you something that happened. Listen, <clears throat> we all know William Fattison, and he, you know, he's a writer, prolific writer of young adult toilet paper that we all know and love. Friday the Thirteenth tribute novels, and I don't know. I was thinking maybe I should get into the writing game. Christ of Friday the Thirteenth novels. You know what I mean? Of tribute novels. But I'm like, obviously, he's such a great writer. Mm-hmm. I, I have to kind of emulate him. So I called him up. What do you got to do? Fuck, fuck a couple cats and, you know, shit on yourself? Well, he gave me some great advice. This could have all happened. <laughs> I called him. I said, William, hey, how are you doing? Yeah. The, advice, huh? take the, bar, the advice, take the candy bar out of the wrapper before you eat it. It's much easier. He was very kind. He was like, listen, he's like, I'm going to talk to you and tell you how to be a big writer, even though you're a big meth head. And I'm like, thank God for, thank, thank you for forgiving me. I mean, I am doing some meth right now, but you know, thank you for helping me out. He's like, now listen to the sound of my voice and just listen. I'm going to tell you how to write really badly, really poorly. Um, you get, get your really true opinions out there. And the next thing I know, I hear him on the other end of the line and he goes, ha ha, good luck with that book, asshole. And I'm like, well, and I, I completely, he must have hypnotized me. Mm-hmm. And I had written an entire first rough manuscript draft of right. my novel, uh, which I don't remember writing now, but I'm sure it's good. Uh, <laughs> it is Christmas themed. I do remember that much. And it's a Friday the 13th tribute novel. And it might be a little much for some people out there. Uh, just based on my humor, I'm guessing. I don't remember what happened. I'm claiming no ownership of this. <laughs> and Eric is what well, people don't know about Eric. He's a really, really, really good editor. And so I've submitted this basically to you because okay. I just need your honest, your honest take on it. And maybe you could make some edits and later on we could get this, maybe get this book out. Yeah. And I would like you to read it now to the audience for the first time. Well, if this is anything like the shit that I have been reading from William, I'm mm-hmm. like, I, it can't be any worse than that because. Oh, you didn't hear <laughs> maybe, maybe. Man. Right, I'm going to read it. Let's see. Open up the. There are typos. I mean, William instructed me to put plenty of those in. Well, I'm sure you did a lot of that yourself. You know, I, I, I've seen your text. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just hoping to get you. Kind of pissed, like you do with the Williams. <laughs> right. So gonna, now I'm going to hand the floor over to you, and you know, good luck. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is, like I've been doing when I've been reading his first novel on my podcast, I'm going to read it <laughs> however you wrote it, however many typos, yeah. bad situation, all that, you know, retarded stuff. So mm-hmm. I get an email, JV TV Uncut, don't read until show. Got it back a couple weeks ago. All right, fuck my life. All right. <laughs> like, Friday the 13th, Christmas Day by Jay with an exclamation point. So you're so fucking proud. Mm. You wrote it yourself. Oh, well, then must, it must be good. How fucking long is Oh, Jesus Christ, this thing goes on forever. <laughs> All right. Christmas Day 2022. <laughs> Molly Clit was in the middle of violently <laughs> fingering herself atop her primus dryer when she heard the old whore call out to her. <laughs> Fucking friends are waiting for you outside, you little bitch. Hurry up. <laughs> I'm not saying that. One of them is black, and I don't need my neighbors thinking they're going to get robbed. Oh, no. I am reading this as he wrote it. I did have to yeah. switch one word around. But these are his I, I, words, yeah. not mine. I so told him to switch so, whatever words he felt comfortable with, yes. So if some asshole wants to take a sound bite of me saying this shit, it's because this stupid ass. All right. Molly <laughs> Molly wiped off pussy juice, wiped pussy juice on her bare hand, bare thigh, and then pulled her jeans back up. She yelled back and she started to gather her clothes from the dryer. Blah blah eat shit, yo drunk. Grandma couldn't hear shit. What? Molly smirked. I said, sure thing, Nana. People are <laughs> Grandma's Nana. Yeah, I think so. Molly was excited. Crystal Lake Resort. 
A weekend of skiing, cozy ca- <laughs> cozy cabins, hard dick up her ass, hopefully. Her boy- oh, Jesus Christ. Her boyfriend, Rod Harden, had gotten a good deal on some site. A gift to his girlfriend and his friends. Most of whom had no family or shitty ones like Molly. Molly's mom was a do- <laughs> Molly's mom was a dope whore who tried to sell Molly for cigarettes multiple times. Her father, who knew, could be any man or dog in the tri-state area. Yes. Mm. <sighs> I gotta admit, your punctuation is at least already better than William. So, no, uh, you haven't gotten that far yet. <laughs> I know. Eventually, some knockoff Judge Judy had placed her with he grandmother. So, um. I just jinxed you. <laughs> Molly had wanted a nice foster home, preferably a decent, looming dad. <laughs> the 17 year old could mount now and then while the wife was away. But alas, when grandma found out she'd get a check for taking care of her, that dream died. <laughs> ah, the clothes were soft and warm like her morning shit. <laughs> A minute trash bag she had and bounded upstairs. The court bitch was watching Wheel of Fortune, her trusty bottle of vodka next to her. The sound of the Dodds caravan's horn rang out. Jesus, get the fuck out of here, Molly, before the black people start playing hip hop loud or something, Nana hissed. I'll be back Monday. She hugged her and put her lips to her ear. I hope you die in your own piss. <laughs> What did you say, Molly? <laughs> Molly looked confused down at her. I said, I'll miss you. You sure you don't have the Alzheimer's? <laughs> Note to self, Molly, though. <laughs> Move her things around when you get back again. That's so fun. <laughs> her nana farted. I'm sure you meant to say farted, probably. I her think nana- so. Molly got her coat and went outside. Oh, God. Oh. Hey, girl, where you be? Lottie, we've been waiting for your pasty ass too long time. She. Hey, Jamal. Yeah, like you didn't know. Molly said to... Hey, Jamal. Molly said to the black guy with one eye and do-rag in the passenger seat. Next to him was Rod behind the wheel. Fuck. She scored big. <coughs> I'm not saying that. She scored big getting that big dick Swede. I'm not saying that other word. Blonde, ripped abs. Caught with a flesh colored sausage link bigger than her largest dildo. Don't talk, who cared? Uh, hey, baby. Damn, you look so pretty. Like a Christmas angel. Maybe a homosexual in hiding, but till he came out, that cock was hers. <sighs> Good co host, because I don't want to be reading this for nothing and have the video taken down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where was I? <clears throat> the van door slid open. Deep, deep peaked was in the third row. All of her. The book was the size of four stadiums, but a perfect friend, <laughs> down to snort coke, rob some children, and most importantly, no competition with men. Hey, girl, come on. Hey, girl, come on in. Got over an hour to Crystal Lake. Lee popped her head out of the rear. <laughs> Jing Chong, happy song, Molly. Uh, Friend said, said <laughs> Here, yeah. Asian people, we go ski. Yummy sushi. <laughs> I can't say some of this shit. I, mean, I can, but I'm not going to. <laughs> All right. Molly jogs towards the van. Oh, Lee, you worry too much, Molly said, throwing her bag past lard ass. And <laughs> hit Yolanda in the head. Bitch, you hit me again with a bag. It better be a Gucci one, my best friend, or I'll fuck you up, ho. 
funny like that. She was Jamal's side piece. Big ass, big tits, big mouth. Molly loved her. Lee shut the door after Molly seated herself next to her in back row. Tighter than Mother Teresa's cunt back here. <laughs> Chandler complained as she scooted to make room. Be nice, Chandler, Dee said. It's your fat ass fault. I told you all motherfuckers we should have gotten a U-Haul for Adelaide over here. <laughs> Adele. My, my, my bad for Adele. Um, I heard that, Jamal asked. Shut your black ass up and roll me a blunt. Rod turned to face everyone in back. So you guys book two cabins. All they had, Molly and me get one. Rest of you have to share. Cool? <laughs> Pokemon Chow Mein, Lee said, smiling. <laughs> Shit, with Planet D over here? <laughs> Sandler pointed to the sweaty, curly-haired mound of a human in the third row. I don't fuck for food stamps, D said. Both girls, I got turned sideways. Both girls broke into laughter, high five, and each slapped the Asian girl in the face. I don't know. God. Plot twist, plot twist. I didn't pay for shit. Whatever, cracker, said Jamal. <laughs> I spoke to Rod. Looks like it's not a problem. Let's get going. Can't wait to see this place. Is it nice? I checked it on the net. It's new, Rod bragged. Big, spacious cabins, fireplaces, jacuzzis, remodeled from some old campground. Is there a Baskin Robbins nearby, SD? Bitch, I bet. <laughs> I brought plenty of cow food for you. I got a bunch of shit off my link card from the market, those cross eyed. <laughs> Rod. <Rodman. laughs> Out of them. Fried rice, chop suey. Yum yum. Lee shake and clap like a retard. That's our that's our Lee, everyone said in unison and laugh. I'm not saying the G word. Uh-uh. <laughs> Took off. You have to imagine that in 24 hours, only one of them would be alive. All right, so. mm -hmm. It's getting scary now. Getting scary. All right. Hold up. Chandelier interrupted the silence of the ride about an hour in. Um, I just Googled this place, Rod. I'm a fuck you up. What did I do? He flashed that grin in the rear view, and Molly's panties were soaked right away. This place. This was that place where that big slow motherfucker killed all them teens. Ever tried the time to open up the camp? Who? Molly asked. You know, what's his name? D began. Um, Voorhees. Jason Voorhees. His mom went crazy back in the 80s <laughs> and killed a bunch of counselors. She blamed them for her retired son drowning in the 60s or something. Yup. Chandler <laughs> nodded, still looking at her phone. Some ho was getting dick the fuck down, but she was supposed to be watching the asshole swim. His mama lost her shit. One of the kids killed her ass. But I guess Jason or whatever was alive on the other side of the lake. And he had... <laughs> And he had tarred, so couldn't, like, find his way back across the lake or talk normal. You know, yell to his mama, yeah, mama, bitch, I'm over here. Get my retarded ass a raft or a rope or some shit. Nope. Says also here on Wikipedia, people think they saw his mama killed by that hoe. Right. He finally <laughs> spoke again after Chandelier finished her speech. Ohio or something? Like some rave he was killed at? Like somebody was killed at people? Chandelier shook her head. Motherfuckers like Bigfoot. People see him everywhere from New York to Ohio. One fucker claimed she was from the future and he was in space. Props for the Chase and X reference. Yeah, give tie it all in. Tie it all in. I'm one of like the two people that like that one. <laughs> Last thing official, he was chopped up by some little person. Starts with an N. That and ends with an A. That survived Jason killing his mama and some others in 84. Chandler laughed after reading this. What a bitch ass N word. A old <laughs> fucked him up and killed him. What a homosexual. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of myself watching. Yeah. Like, you did pretty times. good. Pretty good. I'm not afraid of saying the R word, but I, that, that's about it. 
I mean, I can say it because, you know, I am one. <laughs> Who cares? He's dead, right? Let's enjoy our trip. Molly said after poking Lee in the head as hard as she could. Better be dead, Jamal said. I'll stomp cuz out. Everyone started singing the national anthem as the car rode on. They're patriotic. The ride was long, and everyone smelled like Fat D's Farms. So I'm sure you really have a hard time smelling, uh, spelling the word fart, don't you? Yeah. The place was gorgeous. That's what Rod had called it upon arriving, and Molly was sure he must have gotten face fucked at least. Wait, what? Okay. The ride was long, and everyone smelled like Fat D's Farts, I'll say. Okay. But the place was gorgeous. That's what Rod had called it upon arriving. And Molly was sure he must have gotten face fucked by at least one guy before. We checked into the Crystal Lodge, which is a dog cabin painted pink with a sign that read Crystal Lake Resort and Lodge. No welcoming minorities. Huh? No welcoming minorities. <laughs> well, I didn't write the sign. Oh, okay. You did. You did write the sign. You just wrote. Maybe it was there. I'm, you know, imagination. Jesus. The girl behind the counter took Rod's credit card and had swiped I and handed them their key cards to the two cabins. The five dollars surcharge to wash the yellow off her sheets. A bitch said, "Point to Lee, who was taking pictures like those people like to do." I mean, I'm creating a narrative. You know, character description's important. Awesome. <laughs> After that, was Settler and Chandelier had stolen the girl's iPhone when she was looking at the computer. They were next to each other. As Chandelier, Jamal, D, and Lee lugged their bags toward the cabin, Rod called to them. They all stopped. What, you dumb motherfucker? I'm as tired as a motherfucker. Jamal Wine. I love being here with you guys, especially on Christmas. I mean, my parents being in Thailand, Jamal and she are not knowing who their parents are. And we being thrown out of China for being a girl. It happens. Plus, mom, plus Molly, her mama, a drunk hoe, we know that. He said, well, I just wouldn't want to spend it with anyone else is all. Maybe we can sing some carols tomorrow. Oh, fuck, Molly. Whispered. Or maybe you can finally admit that you a good ass motherfucker. She <laughs> said, then went into a laughing fit. Stop. I just had. Oh, shit. I gotta stop. I just had my first abortion a few hours ago, but I made myself. Lucy was looking off to the woods in front of them. This must be a bit this much. She could see something or someone standing there. It was. Mm. Big, of course, Lee thinks this. It was big like Godzilla, <laughs> also wearing a mask. COVID 19, she yelled and pointed to where she saw it. Look, Lucy Lou, shut the fuck up. We are tired and this fat bitch hungry. Jamal pointed to D, who flipped him off and thrust her pelvis forward and queefed him. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Molly thought she saw someone where the Asian person pointed. But she needed to nut. <laughs> so she pushed right. Come on, baby, let's get settled and comfortable, she purred. Oh, baby, read you loud and clear. I'll put on some Streisand and set them set them mood. Then we can do the sex. <laughs> Molly heard the gay insults from the others as they went into their cabin. Damn, she thought. God damn. If Chandler passed, it's a wonderful cracker life on, one, on TV one more time. She thought she'd shit. She took a hit off the joint Jamal had rolled. Fatty Patty. 
<laughs> Sounds like a hamburger. <laughs> Patty Patty was sitting in front of, or more like blocking the fireplace. This place was nice. Bearskin rugs on the floor. Two bedroom each with king size bed. So, so Yoko Ono was going to have to sleep on the floor. <laughs> There was a ski hill for white people, of course, out their main windows view. Even had those benches that lifted dumb fuckers to higher hills to ski. Again, <laughs> white people. Shit. True. He had read the guide to the place on the table. In Main Lodge, there were steam rooms, heated pools. <laughs> may take a shit in the pool tomorrow. <laughs> this is Why not? The figure wearing the hockey mask <clears throat> stared at the black chick who was shaking her butt while holding something up to look at herself doing so. Jason was pissed. Mainly because okay, mainly because someone made some spell or something and brought him to life. I love how, you know what, you're straight to the point. He's just a lie. He's a lie. He's a lie. You love it. You love it. Mainly because someone made some spell or something and brought him to life. Again. All he, all he'd known is he was eating our, which are supposed to be out, some good pussy while not looking like a freak. Heaven, hell, who knew? Then sure shit, bright light. He was catapulted from wherever he'd been and shit out of the earth. I actually like this, like this Jason's point of view. Like he, he's really, yeah. really good. it's like, a new, new take, new take. Fuck. Yep. He was all big and gross again. Worse, no dick here. Some little psychic slut had blown him up one time. His cock had gone God knows where. Fuck, why was it so cold? He surveyed the area. Yep, woods. Had to be where that bitch killed his mom, and he'd been fucking up bitches ever since. He'd gotten her. He just wished he shoved a nice pick up her pink little pussy. <laughs> he noticed stuff all over the ground. Wait, snow? Is it winter? Kinter? Or splinter, or whatever. Yeah, see, she's Jesus Christ, fucking Helen Keller trying to read this shit. It was kinter, so you met you misspelled it on purpose, or splinter, <laughs> or whatever. See, look, this guy was at least like eight years old when he drowned. He knows what fucking winter is, but he is slow. Slow people know what winter is too, Jay. Uh, everybody knows they really don't. <laughs> okay. That's anti-retarded, so you shouldn't say that. Or splinter or whatever that season he made sure to stay in his old hut <laughs> and it rolled around back in his day. He kicked at it and hit something with the stub of where a toe had been. His mask, but new. No dings or breaks next to it. Or machete. Oh, fuck you. Someone wanted him back. Oh, they're going to get it the worst. <laughs> he sighed. Fuck it. Let's kill some assholes in the meantime. All right. Why Start not? Starting with Mrs. Soul Train. <laughs> A bed, bay. Want to come live? <laughs> well, I'm going to bed, bay. Want to come look at my black ass a while? <laughs> Standing there with his chocolate bar out. <laughs> you know what the funny thing is? Hmm. When you sent me this text to read this, you said I can, you know, I said the only things I wouldn't say is the, uh, like the, the, the slurs. The slurs, there you go. Crazy shit, yeah. I said everything so far, so. Yeah, yeah. you're doing a good job. Okay. Where are we at? Chocolate bar licking the black ass. All right. Yep. <clears throat> I'm trying to do a TikTok you plantation piece. <laughs> Go fuck the fat white bitch tonight. Dee looked up from her third box of Twinkies. Really? You don't care? I mean, I'm fat and white, so of course I want to, but oh, bitch. Go Shamu that dark dick. Shit, I can do it any time. Just don't break the bed, Oprah. <laughs> Jay looked over. Oh, Jay. Jamal looked over. <laughs> and wiggled his dick. 
Come on, then. Get this Tootsie Pop. <laughs> we got up so fast, Chandler thought there may have been an ice cream truck nearby. <laughs> he disappeared into the hall. Back to my, Chandler saw him at the window. A man wearing a hockey mat. Oh, I see, she thought. That fruity boyfriend of Molly thinks he's cute. Okay, bitch, let's play. She pretended not to see him and went into her purse. Stun gun, stun gun, where was it? Glock? Yeah. Knife? Yeah. Fetus from miscarriage in February? Fuck, I thought, thought I threw this little hoe away. It happens. <laughs> there it was. She was going to stun him, and then her put... She was going. To, she was gonna stun him. Uh -huh. I love. You. I love how you write "gonna" and not "going to." <laughs> she was gonna stun him. Then put her pussy all over his face, raping a man. She hadn't done that since she was five. <laughs> she walked to the door. Jason stood here, or Jason stood there. Excuse me. This one was coming out. He swore she had seen him. He turned, machete raised. He marched toward the porch. Sure enough, she came out in only a sweater and some panties. She looked right at. She looked right at him. Oh, it's killer! It's killer retard back from the dead, huh? Okay, he was getting super pissed. Look, oh Lord, retard, don't kill me! She was finally being upset. He charged toward her. Oh Lord, no! And then her demeanor changed, and she brought something out from behind her back. She pressed it into what chest he has left. It stung a little. She glanced down. Excuse me. There was a blue flash coming from it with a noise like... <laughs> there was a blue flash coming from it with a noise like when he farted. He smelled oh. it right this time. Chandler looked confused. Damn, Rod, you take some meth or some shit? Most black people fall out. <laughs> Then she has exposed bones showing through a tear in this asshole's blue onesie. <laughs> well. The fuck? With that, Jason grabbed her by the head. He yanked her upper torso backwards. He heard it crack. Yo, mammy, motherfucker, she yelled. He broke her back. He took the machete and shoved it, shoved it up her ass, then moved it upward to make her stink hole bigger. <laughs> It's a murder. It's not going to be pretty. My butt implants. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> and then her voice was muffled as he roughly finished bending her backwards and shoving her own head up her own ass. She farted. Well, she farmed. Every time I see the word farm, I'm going to just say fart. <laughs> if you can fucking smell it, spell it right once. Okay. Oh, God. As he roughly finished bending her head backwards, shoving her head up her own ass. She farted. Ew, she managed weak. <laughs> Brown chunky sludge wash over her braids. That was all that hung out her hole now. He tipped her over with a slight push. She was choking her own shit. Right. Then a shout startled him. Lots of Asian slurs coming <laughs> out of the middle of nowhere. Some short Asian chick, complete with the most Asian haircut ever, mm. bullshit, really, was at the doorway. <laughs> Hysterical. He walked up the steps. He slammed, or she slammed the door. I call the police. Yeah. Yum, yum, good time, go home. He punched through the door, and she went flying halfway across the living area. Me no likey. No likey. <laughs> he scooted back. On her body ass. I'm sure you meant bloody. Mm -hmm. Jason raised the booty scented machete. You need to sell like a candle like that. I bet you people. Yeah, I mean. All right. Uh, Jason raised the booty scented machete. And all of a sudden, two more people came out of nowhere. A dark one and a fat one. Well, I mean descriptions. You got to separate. Jeez. What the fuck, G? I'm catching stank on my shit. <laughs> you tried to fuck it up. Who you is? Oh, my God. Jamal, that's Jason, the fat one shrieked. You stay away from my Oreos and cupcakes. <laughs> Schindler gave them to me. <sighs> the dark man came forward. Okay, cuz. 
You catching his hands now, Biatch. Before he could rush all the way forward, Jason reached down and grabbed Miss Saigon. He lifted her over his head, the machete discarded next to him. Then he started to swing her at the t swing her at Jamal. <laughs> he hit him across the face with her own face. He fell. Oh, me no liking. I'm not doing the voice. He screamed out as he used her to beat Jamal senseless. Mm -hmm. Pain then in his ass cheek. He turned, still holding the blood, bloody Asian girl barely alive. It was the fat ass. She had jabbed him with his own machete, which had seen lots of ass tonight. I know you can't do my sweet <laughs> He tilted his head, then raised an index finger. She looked confused as if he used the term calorie count. He took eight. He took Asian persuasion, walked to the fireplace and shoved her in it. She screamed her last scream. Then he waited a minute. Fatty was frozen. He then took the dead girl's carcass out and placed it before Fatty. He, wa he waved some of the smoke from her flesh toward her. Jesus. Sure enough, she started to drool and lick her lips. You fucker. Yum, Chinese food. She opened the floor and began to eat the Asian girl's body. Dang, that's cool, bro. A weak Jamal spoke from behind him. Jamal's face was mashed inward. Part of his scalp shone. Huh. Asians must have hard heads. Jason shrugged, it, shrugged this thought off, then reached down and into his boxers. He would staple it to where he had been later. Okay. In the other cabin, Mo Molly was flicking her clit <laughs> while she thrust her index finger up Rod's tight, perky ass. His head cock was being jerked by himself as he was on all fours. Oh, fuck yeah, he moaned. Say it, bitch, Molly said forcefully, now curling her hand into a fist to go up her damp love cavern. I mean, you know, romance. Come on. Oh, baby, oh. Say it, Molly yelled. Then after some moaning, he did. I'm Christ. Yeah, I'm Jesus. Bet you had a fucking heart on, on that cross. Bet you like hanging, hanging there. She brought her finger. This is the stuff you were afraid you you really wanted me to read, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, at least you're on it. She brought her finger over her man's pussy love spot, the prostate. <laughs> he began to jerk himself harder. Fucking, I got so hard being crucified. I wanted those Roman cocks to pound my Christ asshole. He's got a fetish. We don't judge. Everybody. We don't judge. Oh, I'm fisting my cut now, Mother Mary. Oh, this unholy fuck session on Christmas Eve. Tell me you want Satan to shit in your mouth. Jeez, the bedroom door flew open. <gasps> Molly screamed and fell back off the bed. Rod's eyes bulged as he jumped off the bed. His six, his 13-inch sweetest cock <laughs> seen Jason across the lake. Oh. Molly was ready to scream again as she noticed what the masked maniac was holding. Are those Christmas Oh, no, okay, no. Yeah. Are those Christmas cookies? <laughs> Rod asked in a shaky voice. Jason couldn't help himself. He had seen the ready-to-bake roll in the fridge when he put Jamal's cock in to keep fresh. He never had a real Christmas. <laughs> His mom was a crazy cunt who fucked him on that day every year. <laughs> well, there's abuse. Things. I'm sorry. Plus, he loved to cook. He had thought, why not try to not kill, but to make new friends? So he had found a cookie sheet and baked them. The two naked teens looked at him. He got it. He was scary. He was a freak. Why would, excuse me. He got it. He was scary. He was a freak. Why would they want your Jason, the, the killer, the naked girl with a nice tit said, rising slowly? 
He nodded and lowered his head. He's kind of cute, and those Christmas cookies smell divine, Rod murmured. You are a homosexual, aren't you? She gently asked. Rod shrugged. Yeah, and homosexual was in quotations. <laughs> yeah, she gently asked. Rod shrugged. Yeah, I'm sorry. She you went to say sighed, but she sigged. <laughs> well, can I ride it once in a while till it goes limp because I'm a girl? Molly asked. Rod grinned. Yes, Diva. She walked over to Jason. Jason, we'd love to have some Christmas cookies with you. Well. Jason raised his head. He was glad he had the mask on. Maybe they wouldn't be able to see the tears of joy so well. Let's have them by the fire. Rod squealed with excitement. Jason nodded vigorously. Molly smiled. Okay, but I'm not getting dressed. All three laughed. It's Christmas, Eric. Come on, get in spirit. They ate all the cookies between the three. So, rest are dead, right? Rod asked, stuffing his face. Jason shrugged. No problem, they were assholes, Molly potted, patted him on the back. I think you're great, Jason, really. To kill that many and, like, come back from the dead? I mean, that's awesome. Jason waved a hand at her. They were so cool and crazy. Molly or Rod noticed Molly deep in thought. What's wrong, Molly? It's just that he... It's just what he wrote before we played Hangman. We, When we asked him how he came back, he wrote, Summoned. I mean, who the hell would summon him here in the winter? This place isn't exactly packed. Who would? Then Molly remembered two Amazon packages she had gotten off the porch. One very long and narrow. One smaller, but a good-sized square box. Hmm. Ones which might fit a hockey mask and a machete, and there might have been that book the woman had been reading, Black Magic. Molly had thought this was Magic Johnson's biography. She didn't know. That old whore, she hissed. Who? Jason asked in a southern drawl. Crystal Lake is like in Jersey. Well, we don't know. He's slow. He might, you know, Shit, you can talk, Rod asked, stunned as Molly was. Yeah. How come you didn't before, Molly asked. You guys didn't ask me anything I needed to say. Nobody asked me shit in 40 plus years. Molly laughed. Jason, can you grant me a Christmas wish? Well, God. Listen, listen. Molly's grandma woke Christmas morning, smiling. The little cum drop granddaughter of hers and her friends were dead as shit now. She bet. Goof thing. She took a life insurance policy out on Molly. Bitch would be 18 soon. No more checks for Nana, which means no more hiring Mexicans to work for her. Which meant no more hiring Mexicans looking for work to fuck her old pussy. No more, con no more casino trips. Fuck that. She saw a thing about Jason on Discovery. People had brought him back before Legend had it. So... 100 bucks later, she had the machete and mask. Had to make an offering to the dead. Stupid, really. Everyone that needed to be brought back was, wasn't a Jew. But whatever. <laughs> see, I can say that because it's a religion. I can say that's okay. <laughs> She'd driven behind them most of the way. They found a spot in the wood. They found a spot off the road in the woods. And read the lines, killed the cat, spilled the blood, did the twist, did some yodeling. Bam! The earth started to quake, and she hustled back to the car. It was going to be a good Christmas. She went to take a piss. Before she could squat, the shower curtain flew open. A hulking figure with a hockey mask leapt at her. It pulled her up, her britches around her legs. She screamed as the monster put her head into the toilet, just above the water. She heard farts. Sticky clumps hit her. Jesus Christ. She heard farts. Sticky clumps hit her head and ran down her cheeks. The water colored brown. The smelly liquid drenched her head. I had too many cookies, a young man's voice said. Then a female voice. One she knew all too well. 
My turns again. Oh, I got steamy log coming out now. Hold her steady, Jason. I'll try not to get it on your hand, Molly said. If you do, I'll just feed it to her, Jason laughed. You bitch, you're shitting on, on me. You and the homosexual, her grandmother yelled. Okay, this is this is we got a couple paragraphs left and then we're done. Yep. You bitch, you're shitting on me, you and the homosexual, grandmother yelled. Try to have me killed, you old bitch. Hell yes. And then good old Jason is gonna bang your shitty head just enough to cause brain damage, and I'll call a home. Tell him grandma finally fell into her own shit. Fucking Alzheimer is a bastard. Don't worry. I'll bring you home to take care of you after a while. You know, I'll be 18 and get a check for taking care of you. And I'll come over and... <laughs> what? I gotta say this the right way because he admit he says it right after. Don't worry. I'll bring you home and take care of you after a while. You know, I'll be 18 and get a check for taking care of you. And I'll come over and come on you every now and then, Rod says. <laughs> After they finished shitting on her, Jason raised her shit cake head to face his. By the way, bitch, he said as Molly and Rod started jerking off. <laughs> Molly is letting me move in, you know, out of the cold. Nice idea bringing me back into the winter, you hag. The last thing she heard before she had her head hit the sink and became a partial vegetable was all three voices in unison shout and Merry Christmas. The end. Yeah, it makes you think. It makes you think. Oh, it does. <laughs> so, I mean, what did we think? First off, I hate to get too Oprah book clubby, but what did we think of the characters? Who do we like the best? First off, I want to see the comments because I was not able to see them when I was reading this masterpiece. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Sexy Monkey lost the ability to be shocked by me a long time ago, so he's, he's good. I think Rob, some other people may have just passed Rob, out. Yeah, Roger called it. Said it just started. Said it's brilliant. Cozy cabins and sexy gays. Jay, it's a New York Times bestseller for sure. Book of the Year award. Sausage link, spicy size. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> this sounds like one of those paperback books in the rack of one of them porn shops. That's probably where you were inspired. You worked there, right? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, lovely face beast. Is this a book they read at church? <laughs> order the sexy book. Uh, the characters in the book act like crackheads. Uh, <laughs> written by a meth head. There you go. Uh, Bigfoot and Big Dick. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and of course, Brian Kubrick Lover just showed just up. Just stumbled in and it has no idea what's going on. Poor bastard. I'm so sorry, oh, Brian. Lucky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. what, I mean, what overall did you think? I mean, it's a rough, rough, rough draft. But yeah. I mean, William gave me some good advice. I mean, what do you think? Overall, the fucking worst. Okay. You write that much on your own. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Something. Uh, I was ex- honestly, I was expecting it to be more vulgar, knowing you. Right. A lot more poop than sex. Than I, I was expecting it the other way around. Okay. So. Better who I mean, who, who spoke to you character wise? Like, did you did, were you invested? Um, uh, who spoke to me? Who spoke to me? Uh, character wise, I guess Jason because he's the retarded one and he just wanted to make friends. And yeah. so you know, he hates winter. I hate winter. He likes Christmas cookies. I'm a fat ass, so I like Christmas cookies. Um, yeah, I, I associated with him the most. So what did you think of the twist that I, I mean, I had to throw in a twist, you know, that the grandmother had set them up because she was afraid she was not going to get a check anymore. Well, I, if we're being honest here, I could see that twist coming because you could tell the okay. grandma was a bitch from the very beginning. You're supposed to be nice. True. And then the twist happens. Um, if it was me, Brian, it's Christmas based at the very end. You could say it takes place at Christmas. There's Christmas cookies. It's a yeah. Um, why do I say this? The piece for me was that Jason was actually a good guy. 
He just wanted to be loved. That's what I was important to me, I think, was to make Jason... You know what? Why not have him have a Christmas? Right. Why not defy expectation? If he could just walk around, he could kill everybody, all the stereotypes that are there. Or mm-hmm. he could turn out to be something that you never even thought he could be, you know, like not completely retarded. I never said I've always said he wasn't. He was just deformed to begin with. But I mean, everybody I knows that if God makes you deformed, that he also makes you uh, uh, you know. No, there's plenty of ugly people out there that are smart, you know what I mean? <laughs> he's ugly and shit, and he's a genius. Or he was <laughs> be better than still. So do you think this could compete with William Patterson's book? Here's the thing. What if Jason really is smart like Stephen Hawking's, but no one gave him a chance because he's just so fucking ugly? Well, like, I mean, I kind of allude to it in the book, but I mean, he's got to be kind of smart to catch all these kids to have different kills all the time. Yeah. You know, I mean, he doesn't really do the same kill too often. And, right. you know, he, he mixes it up a lot. So, I mean, maybe Jason's autistic. Don't they love to like make shapes and shit? I don't know. I don't know. Do you have any people that you know that are autistic that you can ask? I don't. I think Sexy Monkey's autistic. I wasn't gonna say anything. I've <laughs> asked him personally. He denies it. He just he just claims he's retarded. I don't know what the difference is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you think that this would be a good sell- a bestseller? Oh, I definitely think it has an audience. That's for sure. <laughs> now, I am thinking of doing something because it is Christmas. Oh, God. I mean, maybe it needs some tweaking and all that. But I am thinking of personally sending an autographed copy to the guy who inspired me, William Patterson. Well, I think I'm, it's the least I could do. Well, I'm going to put you on the spot since you have said this live and it's now being recorded, if you don't, you're a fucking pussy. And I know you don't like being called a pussy. So I oh, say you have, I have, I not sent him a Christmas card before and a birthday yes. card. No. Yes. I, this I'm year, not, I think I, it happened, but I'm saying if you don't, I will be, and I'm sure you've heard this many times. I'll be very disappointed in you, Jay. <laughs> Flashbacks. It's just too real. Oh. <laughs> Find someone you can mooch a printer off of print it. Mail it to him, and then write an own personal, you know, thank you note to him. I think I mean I really think I owe him that. I mean he's he's made such awesome contributions to the literature, and I don't know he inspired me. He he down to bad grammar and all, and I think he wouldn't be too insulted that I took Friday the Thirteenth in a different direction than he may have. I think what you should do is, I think you should edit this before you print it and write that mm. the, the, write a little dedication to him before it. So you know it's a real, you know, like from the heart type of deal. You know, maybe I could even really publish this on like one of those free publishing sites. You mean like he does? Like I say, learn from the master. <laughs> if, learn from the master. If, if his dumb ass can do it, you know, anybody can. So you, there's, there's still hope for you, Jay. So now, if you had to make a cover for this book, oh what would you? What would, what would your cover art? What do you? What do you envision? Honestly, I think like do we? We I don't remember. Did we find out that it was a Christmas a story right at the very beginning or no? Well, because I think they yeah, because she was going away for Christmas. Okay, I think it would be fun. I just want Camp Crystal Lake, and written in brown. I want the title, obviously. <laughs> and I want Christmas lights around the border. That's it. We don't see anything Oh, else. that's good. They have to read to find out what the deal is. So ah, the- so keep them guessing. Keep them guessing. They have no clue what's going on. Mm-hmm. What was your favorite kill? I know. There's so many to choose from. I'm not going to lie. The only one I remember was the, the girl getting her back broken and then her head shoved up her ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I'll say that's the most memorable. One. So I'll go with that well, one. I mean, that's a slight. I mean, not completely, but a little bit of an homage to I, part six. You know, the sheriff was friend was bitten like in half and shit like that. Or the sheriff was. I'm sorry. So I thought maybe just go a little bit further. Oh, you yeah. did. 
Oh, excuse me. Yeah, you went further. You went all the way up there, literally. So. Now, did he get, you know, with the with uh, Molly and um, her allegedly or now admitted gay boyfriend mm -hmm. taking turns shitting on the grandmother? Did it get too German? I don't think it was German enough because they should have been yelling in German. Uh, oh, there you, you see. This is why I need you as an editor. You, you can add the little flourishing touches to this. A little, yeah, a little Zeke Kyle. Come, a couple, couple of those. I didn't, I didn't say that. What, I mean, what else? Uh, uh, what, what else did they say? Oktoberfest? I don't. What? Da. <laughs> they could be drinking like Sam Adams Oktoberfest or some bullshit because you know they're no. just. But they think they're German. So it's like you know, white kids who want to think they're Mexican by drinking like you know Modelo or or any of that Mexican beer. You know, Modelo is Mexican beer. Yeah. I always thought it was Irish. <laughs> You're about as dumb as Jason, then. <laughs> so, would you say? I mean, Stephen King should be worried. Oh, Stephen King, from what I've heard, hasn't had a hit for fucking what 10, 15 years. So, <laughs> what? Follow his dipshit ass on Twitter. God, he is. And even when he's not trying to be political, right. And just fucking like his attempts at joking. My God, I'm like, dude, you really need to have like the phone taken away. You have, you are not funny. You have no talent. Get back on the coke and the booze. With I think that was what did it. You know, what I, mean? I think of you a lot when I see his tweets because I know he's really far left, and I know that like he also, I I don't know, like I I know you have such a love for his books and all this other shit. So it's got to be really kind of interesting dichotomy there. To deal oh, with that. I, no, I stopped following him like fucking last year or something like that. He you did? Got, yeah, he got too stupid. Oh, uh, what made you finally say no? All he got obsessed with was was look. I've said it a hundred fucking times. I don't give a shit about Trump, but the dumb that that fucking asshole hasn't been president in what two years, and he can't let it go. Mm -hmm. Who cares? He's a loudmouth jerk off that is no longer in control. True. <laughs> Pick on the vegetable that's in charge now, okay? Well, he's after he's after Elon now. Got a lot more material to work with this <laughs> guy than just Trump being, you know, a racist, <laughs> misogynist asshole. Wait a second, but I do have to mention something. We did bring Trump up. Did you? How great was his surprise announcement? You heard about that, right? That was so fucking retarded. That was the best fucking thing I have ever heard in my entire. I thought it was a joke. It was a trading card, right? Like those NFT, like some, I don't even know exactly what they are. It's like something that only a certain amount of people can get. I don't even know if they're fucking real or holograms or some weird computer thing tied in with it. But when I saw somebody say in response to his big announcement, I didn't see what the announcement was first. It was like, are you fucking kidding me? Mm -hmm. And it was like a supporter of his. I was like, okay, I got to look at what the announcement is. Now I'm curious. I looked at, I thought... That soon there was going to be a the real Donald Trump was going to come out and say that's bullshit, that's not me. Somebody made a fake account. I could not fucking now. He's done a lot of shit that I could not believe, but this one was. How do you not know that people aren't going to be pissed off at you? You're base, you idiot. Well, here's, the, here's the thing, though. People are dumb enough; they're going to buy it. That's the thing. That's the thing. Some people. Are so hardcore following his dumb ass, and I'm speaking. I'm speaking non politically because I, you right. know me. I said it before I don't give two shits. You know, right. I stick in the bubble. You know, that's why I'm not as angry as most people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a motherfucker. There's going to be plenty of people that are going to pay what the hundred bucks or whatever it is to buy it. Right. There's going to be people that will buy more than one because they think it'll be worth money, but. God bless because that's America. You know what I mean? Like like you've it, said before, if if they if they got, you know, they got a hustle, they got a hustle. If they I mean, you know, fine and all that, but I'm just like what does it you know, if you're like an on the fence like supporter or whatever, like what does it take? Mm -hmm. That's what convinces me there's absolutely nothing this man can do mm -hmm. that would ever dissuade, you know, that base. Like there is nothing. Like, he could literally come out at his next rally and just, after having drank tons of Gatorade, and literally just walk around and piss on each one's face 
who's there, and they would love they would love it. I'm convinced they would sit there and just. <laughs> they wouldn't wash their face for for the rest of their lives. No, no. The th- I've said it before. Fan is short for fanatic. Kanye West, of all people, still has fans. Oh, Lord Jesus. What the hell? Can so, somebody find duct tape and put it over his mouth? I mean, no, plastic bag over his head would be much better. He already has one of those. It's fashionable now. But what I'm saying is this, what I'm saying. I'm using him, his dumb ass as, a, as an example. It doesn't matter how bad these people are. They will always have people that will support them, no matter how stupid. No matter what dumb ass thing they say. No matter what dumbass thing they do, they'll still have supporters. What do we think with Kanye about do how much do we really think it's mental illness? Or do we really think like what's the percentage? Mental illness and really knows what he's doing. I don't really follow him that much. I but from what I noticed, he's an attention whore. He wants people talking about him. I think he's a gen I think I don't want to say he's a genius and he's brilliant, you know what I mean? Right. But he's doing this to get people talking. Did you hear what that dumbass did? Did you hear what he said now? Yeah. I think that's what it is. But when you start saying, like, you know, you love Hitler. Well, what what is, like, the worst thing you can say other than, like, dropping a word or something like that? You say, I I love Hitler, whatever the fuck he said. Right. That's exactly what he did. You know it's bad. I did a video on it. that Alex Jones was freaking out. Yeah. When that that cokehead freaks out, it's... it's, (laughs) That was so funny. Uh, I'm sure you mean, and the way he even tried to defend it was, it, it was like a comedy to me. He's like, oh, uh, you mean how he dresses? You like that? Like, that's better, you idiot? <laughs> oh, you don't try to defend these people. You let them drown. Yeah, just shut up. You got your sound bite. But like I said, you know what you're going to get a sound bite if you get Kanye in your fucking show. So yeah. shut the fuck up. Let him hang himself or do whatever you want him to do. Don't try to correct him now. What are you fucking thinking? <laughs> No, I, I think, I'm sure he's fucked in the head. Like he, there's some problems there, but I think a lot of it is just for attention to get people talking to keep him in the spotlight because right. his other ex, his ex wife, because his fucking ex wife is Kim Kardashian. She's still more fucking famous than him. Oh my god! Air quotes relevant than him. You know what I mean? Do you know anybody who watches that fucking show? Idiots. I, I personally never met anybody who's like, oh no, I I got I watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians. I love it. Hey, God bless them because I I used to watch all those VH1 reality shows too. So whatever. Yeah. Well, there's some good. I listen. If there's fist fighting and stupid shit happening, I'm down for watching it. I what what is there to watch with these bitches? I don't know what mall I'm gonna go to today. Follow me around while I get my Botox. And did you hear my mom said something unkind? Oh fuck off, bitch. Yeah. Let's see. Let's. I want to see you with admit the ass injections finally. <laughs> a lot of it is a, a lot of it. A lot of these people that say they hate them are the ones that are watching the show. So they have secret to secret watchers. Yeah. Yeah. I guarantee you. That's how it is. It's it's like the same people that bitch about a movie. I hate this fucking movie. I hate I hate Halloween 2018. I hate Halloween Kills. But I'm gonna go spend my money to go watch the third one. See, now me, I hated those movies, but I didn't spend any money to watch them. So you know what I mean? With the very last one, I mean, I I wish I'd followed your lead on that. (laughs) You liked that one, didn't you? It's like watching, like, you know me, I like wrestling. It's like all these people that fucking complain about wrestling. Then turn the fucking channel, quit watching. Who cares? No, you're going to keep watching to complain. Some people just aren't fucking happy unless they're miserable and complaining about something. Well, we know the horror community is aces at that. They're yeah. the best at bitching and moaning about their own shit constantly. And overanalyzing everything to fucking death. If I hear one more thing about the predictions of Scream, stop. Well, Just... you, got, you got until March, okay? So you got plenty of time. Oh, uh, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> they, they they started back in fucking in summer. I know. I said, oh, I think I don't know if Sydney's going to be in it. She might be in the last five. But this obsession with Nev Campbell being in it. Listen, the bitch no, no, no. did like five movies already. <laughs> what's, even worse, what's even worse is everyone's obsessed that Matthew Lillard is coming back. They they swore he was going to be in the last one. Now they swear he's going to be in this one. Who? First off, Matthew Lillard fucking sucks. Why would you want him back? <laughs> Second, in the set in the first one, he had one of them fucking 
80 pound tube TVs dropped on his fucking face. Yeah, how? Did he be back? No one yeah. meant fucking funeral. No one mentioned a burial. No one mentioned if he is alive, him being in jail. Right. Billy Loomis's dumbass in the last movie. That was fucking stupid. The ghost. I of Billy hated Loomis. that. I hated that so much. So now let's just bring Stu back. Wes Craven is lucky he's dead, but he's sadly rolling in his grave, seeing what the fuck is going on right now. I think that's just more shit they've made up, though. I don't think he is coming back. I don't think that. I don't, I don't think so. But you know, there would be some kind of leak of some kind. Yeah, but it's just like so people are obsessed that they want him to come back. Who cares? He was an annoying piece of shit back in 1996 or whenever the fucking movie came out. Right. He's an annoying piece of shit in every movie he's in. Why would I he- just want the main girl, whatever the fuck her name is, uh, the main or- one who saw yeah. Billy Loomis and shit like that. I want her dead. She sucked. She sucked. Every time she was on the screen, I'm just like, I was distracted by her bad acting. Yeah. <laughs> like, did she have any other emotion than just, hmm. I'm saying... <laughs> Nothing. Ortega, that little that little chick blew her out of the water. They they fucked it up. They should have made her the the one that's gonna carry on the Nev Campbell. Thing. And by the way, I don't give a shit if I see Nev Campbell in another fucking movie ever. I don't give a fuck. All right. I what more can these characters do? This horse hasn't just been beaten to death, it's been spit on and fucked. And you know, it yep. would surprise it didn't make an appearance in your fucking Christmas story. You know what I mean? <laughs> Well, wait till you see my wait till you see my New Year's one. It's gonna be good. I'm a guy who likes all the Friday the Thirteenth movies in some way, shape, or form. And how many right. fucking? You know what I mean? Are I'm we like, ever gonna get another Friday the Thirteenth fucking like feature length film? Uh maybe. I don't know. The, oh no, there's a prequel series coming up. To, uh, like, I know that. I know that's coming to Hulu, but it's like I don't understand the rights situation that's going on there. Like I know that they have the TV rights are good. But I think Jason Blum or somebody said that the movie rights are still fucking weird. Movie rights are different. Uh, The movie rights, Victor Miller owns Camp Crystal Lake. He owns Mrs. Voorhees. And he owns the term... uh, He owns uh, Friday the 13th. Mm -hmm. I think he owns... I don't know if he owns Jason or not as a kid. Okay. Jason belongs to Sean Cunningham. Listen... Cut the guy a fucking check. Just get it over with. Why is this like, hard? Yeah, well, because we, well, I interviewed Adam Marcus one time, and Adam Marcus, you know, worked with Sean Cunningham, and he he literally said because Sean Cunningham is a greedy piece of shit. Really? Yeah, he says Sean Cunningham cares about nothing but money. Wow, I didn't and know they, he was that bad. And even Adam Marcus, you know, he helped get started. Jason goes to hell with Sean Cunningham. He's like. Just cut the guy a check and move on. But no, Sean, if there's a chance Sean could get money, he will do it. Holy shit, that's bad. That's real bad. So, I mean, so we can wrap this up on a nice little positive note while we still have this. (laughs) And this was an easiest way to do it so far. Like, to me, it was easy. Mm -hmm. Easy for you? Loved it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was here, so it worked. (laughs) let's close out with what is your Christmas wish for everybody this year? Mine is gonorrhea for everyone, but you go ahead. Get the, my Christmas wish for everyone is for everyone to get together, to get along and to make sure this video has not been taken down. So I didn't read that piece of shit for nothing. No, my Christmas, honestly Christmas wish it's for everyone to stop being fucking assholes over stupid stuff. Ah, uh, I hate this. No, and it, not to, no, it's not for my benefit mostly, you know, because, you know, I want the world to be a better place. It's because you guys are just fucking annoying and stupid. <laughs> I don't want it in my timeline. I don't want it around me. That's what <laughs> quit being dumb assholes to each other. If yeah. It's fine, but quit being dumb assholes. I think that's it perfectly. Eric, Merry Christmas. Quit being a dumb asshole. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to sign out. Till next time. Thanks for hanging with us. And this will definitely be rated 18 or over. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to, or else this is fucking gone. <laughs> I'm going to do it now. I think from now on, all these are going to have to be. 18 oh, yeah. Or- they all have been so far. They're all going to stay that way. Yeah. 
All right. Well, it was fun to see you again. And, you know, I'm sure another month or so. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Later. Jesus Thanks, Christ. everyone, for watching. Yeah. It was worth it. Christ.